Good morning. Say hi, Makaya. Say good morning. Yeah. Say hello. Good okay. Morning. The prophet is hey. um. Welcome to uh, another of our school days. Yes. Welcome to another of our school days morning. Come up a little bit, baby. All right. Um. So before we do, ooh, before we do anything God, else, go ahead and pray. God help. God help me to have a good day to you then. To my teachers, happy pray time, and mommy will pick me up and never break the promise. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Good job, Makaya. Wait, what did Good job. Do again? I told him to pray and he put his hands together. All right, listen, now we really don't have a lot of time at all. No, like, we I know don't. we say that all the time, but we really don't this morning. So, um,. Uh, it's about to be winter break, and so school days is going to be taking a break um, until the new year. So we're going to try to do school two school days videos back to back. I'm um, not today, but today and tomorrow, right? Okay, so um, the topic that Judah gave as a suggestion was what you remember? God closing the not, door. Not, yes, God closing the door. God because closing the door. Why? Because, because he's closing the door for us. Come closer to me. Because he, because he's closing the door for us. Mhm. Mm and that, and that, he, he doesn't want him. And tell Luke, speak up, speak and, up, and, and yeah. tell everybody to get out. He tells everybody else to get out, but he's closing the door for us, right? All right, so let's read, Micaiah. Listen, uh, prophets. Prophet, let's behave yourself, please. Okay, all right, let's open this up a little. Well, I don't know because he did to snatch it off. All right, Re Revelation, the book of Revelation. We're in Revelation again. I think we were in Revelation the last time, chapter three, and we're going to do verse. Can you see that? Eight, yeah, eight and nine. Verse eight and nine. So, this is Revelation. It's so small. I, it is, I know. Revelation chapter 3, verses 8 and 9. Are, are you prophets? Are you ready? Uh, I'm ready. Now, now, God breathed the word. I don't need you breathing on it. All right. Okay, here we go. It says, Micaiah, be nice. Okay? That's his name. It says, here we go, Judah. This is what, this is what God is saying. I know all the things you do. Yes, that's what God, yes, God said that. He says, I know all the things you do. And I have, listen, and I have opened, uh, come on here, be healed. And I have opened a door for you that no one can close. Listen, are we focused? Yes. Okay. God is saying that I know all the things you do. And I have opened the door for you that no one can close. That also means that when now when he opens that door, he's uh, uh, it's for you. It, it's it, for you. And if he I, just I, listen, it, go ahead. it's for us. Yes, it's for us. And if God decides to close that door so that nobody else can get in. I don't care how hard you pull, nobody else is getting in. Listen here. So he says, this is the reason why. He says, you have little strength. God is saying, you're not that strong. And I know you're not that strong. Right? Maybe, Listen. Maybe I am. <laughs> okay, I need you to understand this. There are some things that we may want to do for God, but we're not as strong as God is. But we keep trying anyway. And this is what he's saying. Listen. He says, what is he, what's he, what's he saying? Oh, I'm going to read. I'm going to read. The Bible says, you have little strength, yet you obeyed my word and did not deny me. God is saying, even though some things were hard for you, you still listen to me. And he's doing this to God. That's what he's saying. You obeyed me. You listened to what I said. And you did not deny me. That means you told people that you love me. That you served me. If there's something that I wanted from you. You didn't tell me no. I did. 
That's right. You didn't tell your daddy, your heavenly father, no. Listen here. And even when it comes to obeying your parents and, or doing and, other things, you obey them. Obey, yes. And obey my, and obey my family. If that's what you support, if your family is telling you the right thing. And, and they tell me the, the good thing. That's right. And when they tell me, they get right. That's right. We get it right. Because you know why? Because we going to come correct. And, and uh, hold on, hold on, Prophet. Prophet, do you agree with that word? Your spirit's got to agree. It's the truth. That's why right, rest in it. In the bosom. Bless his name. Little baby. Uh, uh, yeah, Fo John. Yes, Prophet. Okay, so now listen. Listen. This is, <gasps> this is verse 9. Look, I will force those who belong to Satan's synagogue. That means the people who are with the devil, and it's going to end up with the lava, okay? He said, now listen, those liars, the people who don't tell the truth, who say they are Jews, who say they really my people, but they're really not. Do you know, Judith, that there are some people who say, oh, yes, I love God. Oh, yes, um, I'm, I'm, gonna, I, I'm, I'm God's son, and I'm God's daughter. But do you know that there are some of them are not telling the truth? No, they're doing the wrong. They're doing the wrong thing. Yes, that's right. They're doing the wrong thing. And the bottom line is this, Prophet. Let me explain this to you. They open their mouth, and they say one thing out of their mouth, but they do another thing. And let me tell you something. You can say what you want to say out your mouth. You can say what you want to say out your mouth. But what you do will tell the truth. Come on in here. Come on. Hey, y'all, somebody. Hello, hey, somebody. Hey, y'all, somebody. Hey, y'all, someone. Hello, someone. Prophet, do you understand that? You can say what you want to say out your mouth. But the truth will be revealed in what you do. H hold on. We almost done with, with verse 9. Like, and it says, and, listen. And, and it's chapter 3. Yes, in chapter 3. And so he says, so he's going to cause those people who say that they're really his people and they're really not, he's going to have them to come and bow down at your feet. And mommy, Listen. and then I jump over. You going to jump over? Yes, I'm going to jump over with, with my knee and my, my, my foot. That's right. Be nice. Be nice, prophet. Okay. And so then he says, they will acknowledge that you are the ones I love. So here again, we talked about this before. When when people do bad things, uh, uh, listen. Uh, 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 shush. I want you to listen. Hold that word in your belly. Uh, be disciplined. Discipline your impulses. Uh, 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 uh. Discipline means that if I'm telling you to wait, you got to hold it in your belly. Hold your belly. Two hands. Hold your belly. Hold it. And listen to what I'm saying. And then you can release that word. Okay? Okay. All right. I know it's hard, but that you got to kill that flesh every day. The thing is, is that when people do bad things to you, you don't have to worry about getting them back. Let God handle it. Because with these people who are obeying, are you listening? Yes. I know it's hard to keep that word in your belly. I know. I know. But it's all right. You can do it. With the people who are listening to God and doing the right thing, he says, I'm going to cause the people who are lying and saying that they're my people, and, but they don't love anybody, they don't help anybody, they're not respectful, they don't listen to me. All of those people, I'm going to cause them to come and bow at your feet. And what that means in a lot of ways sometimes is that there's going to be things that he's going to cause those people to do for you, to bless you, because you obey God. Amen? Amen. Go ahead, release the word in your belly. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. You got. What's the word in your belly? You have something to say. Go ahead. What is it? And behave yourself in your belly. And wait, wait, wait. Say that again. Say it clearly. Be behave yourself. Hmm. That's right. Behave yourself. And, and believe. And believe. What, what are you going to believe? <clears throat> Prophet, what are you going to believe? I'm going to believe mm -hmm. that everyone will help people. That's good. 
Because we want people to do the right thing. Prophesy. That's right. And that everyone doesn't get hurt never again. Come on, prophesy. Say, I prophesy. I prophesy. Uh -uh, wait a minute, I didn't feel it. Come on, I prophesy. I prophesy that everyone won't get hurt again. That's right. Is there another word in your belly? No, that's it. That's it. Hey, look, when, 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 when the word is released, it's released. Bless his name. Prophet, do you have a word in your belly? Because, you know, you got to be grateful because God is opening doors for you. And nobody will, and, no, and nobody hits you. Pabashi, kandabasaya. Because he's got you covered. And if you read down in chapter 3 of Revelation, I believe it's verse 20, he says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If you open the door, I will come in. I'm going to sit down. We're going to eat some food like friends. And, yet, and nobody, nobody can shut that door if I open it. And your family and you. That's right. Do you hear that, prophet? Yes. Yes. Can you clap your hands? Yes, bless his name. We praise him. God, we thank you. God, right every, now. Yes. Every, and then we praise everyone. We praise God. And we, we praise God. And, and, and then we're thankful. And we're thankful. That's right. Close your eyes. God, we thank you. We thank you for being a good God. We thank you for, for loving us and comforting us. And, and, and we thank you for keeping us safe, God. Thank you. God, we, we thank you because we really want to do the right thing. Help us, God. Help us to fight for our own salvation uh, fruits. Because you gave us you gave us a, a, a salvation. That means you saved us, God. But we want to see the fruits in our life. We want to show love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, meekness, faith, temperance. All that self-control. We want to show the fruits of our salvation in our life, God, because we want you to see that even though we don't always get things right and we that we only have a little bit of strength, that we are willing to obey you, that we're not going to deny you. We're going to claim your name to everybody because we want you to be proud of us and we want you to open a door for us to walk through and so that you can bless us, God, for what we're giving you. Do you want to say something else to God? To thank yes. him? For opening the doors, go ahead. And nobody will get hurt at the door. Nobody will get bleed. And nobody will bleed. Nobody will get bleed. No, nobody will bleed. Nobody will bleed. Amen. And, uh -huh. and nobody hurt their hand from from hitting the tree, but and then and, and if the tree fall down and hit everyone's and hit everyone's eyes. Hmm. And no, and you, and nobody will hurt their hands from hitting the tree. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what I hear in that, and we're gonna go. What I hear in that is because I'm thinking about the Garden of Eden. Look at me. When we read about Adam and Eve and how they um, disobeyed God and they ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil when they weren't supposed to do that. This is what I'm hearing, y'all. And, and, oh. and they did become two evil spirits. Right. Well, yeah, I mean, in so many ways, but we'll talk about that another time. But but this is what I'm hearing, people, and what he just said, that he's speaking that nobody will hurt their hand on the tree is what he said. And that the tree will not fall and hurt everybody. Right. Yeah, and, this that, is, and, uh -huh. that, and they hit the it did, they hit the other tree and and the tree hit the evil Okay. Now, okay, but listen, listen, listen. I want you to hear what I'm hearing from that. Is that he is praying against us touching things that we have no business touching. Hurting your hand against the tree. Touching stuff that you had no business touching. And now you reaping consequences for stuff that you did that you shouldn't have done. Keep your hands off of stuff that God don't want you to have. Keep your hands off, off of stuff that God is saying no or if he's even saying wait. Keep your hands off of it. Trust that he knows what's right. Trust that. Don't deny him. Obey him and don't deny him. Do what he says to do and trust that he is God. And he knows what's best for us. Because what ends up happening is that a lot of times... 
you hitting your hand on the tree, you touching something that you have no business touching, ends up hurting not just you, but other people. Adam and Eve sinning wasn't just on them. They sinned against God, and here we are dealing with stuff that we should have no business struggling with. Y'all hear that? In Jesus' name. Go ahead and declare. I am strong. I am powerful. Mm -hmm. I am anointed and obedient. And Jesus made us that way. Yes, he did. And Jesus. And Jesus. Yeshua. Say Yeshua. Yeshua. Kabasi, kabasa, rabasi. And no one blows and huffs and puffs. Nobody blows us away. That's right. You better preach that. I love you. I love you too, mommy. Hey, hey, wait, wait. It hit itself. Nobody get hurt. That's right. We don't want anybody. We want everybody to stay safe. Ain't that right? Oh, man. All right, you guys, listen. We love you. We want you to have a wonderful day. We are late. It's time to wake up! Micaiah, say have a good day. You say bye-bye? Have a good day. Okay. Yeah.